Hello, it is Tuesday the 4th of August 2020. I hope you all had great weekends. In today's Tobisonic YouTubing, we're going to be looking at how to layer in different piano instruments to get your own unique, bespoke piano sound. So one of the things I like to do when I'm producing something is I like to just call up a bog standard acoustic piano, work on new parts for the production that way. So this week I was working on a production. I had a bunch of different parts going, playing through the Halion uh, acoustic grand piano, and they sounded like this. I got to thinking, you know, they sound pretty cool as a piano. So I thought, why not open up the workstation, pull up the UVI augmented piano, maybe the UVI toy suite, and just layer in some different pianos and see what I can get. So that's what I did. So what we've got here is a quick run through. If you want to take a look at the full production, that's going to be available on my Patreon site. There's a link in the description below. And not only that, you can have access to the multi-tracks. But for those of you who are just interested in how to layer the pianos, this video is going to show you quickly how to do that. So the first thing that I wanted to work on was the melody, because that's kind of the signature part of it. So I wanted to get that sound right. The first piano that caught my ear was the augmented una corda. Now that's a beautiful piano tone, but I wanted something a little bit more honky-tonk. I wanted something that would kind of trash it up a little bit. So I decided to send the exact same MIDI pattern to the radio corda and blend it in. So let's have a listen to what those two things sound like together. Now that started to give me the flavor that I wanted, but one of the first things I needed to do was go into the effects themselves, go into the voices, and make sure that the reverbs and delays were switched off because I wanted a kind of consistent reverb for the entire piano sound. So now I needed to get a kind of universal reverb that I could send out with all the different instruments. And the way I did that was by using the auxiliary channel within the workstation. Let's have a quick listen to what it sounds like. One of the great things about using the aux verb is it allows me to control the amount of signal that I'm sending for each of the dry pianos to it. And you'll notice that with the melody, the radio quarter is going out at zero dB unity, whereas the default unicorder is going out at minus 32.9 dB, much, much lower. So most of that reverb sound is coming from the radio quarter. One of the reasons why I blended the reverb that way is I didn't like some of the mid that was kind of coming in with the default unicorder. So once I got the reverb set, I went into the EQ and just pulled out a little bit of mid frequency, an extra couple of dB from the unicorda just to help it sit in the mix. Next up, I wanted to have a listen to the bass line and I picked up Noir Piano. Now, I like that, it was giving it some good weight but I needed something just to kind of accent it up. And I found in the toy suite something called Candle Piano. And you'll see this is blended in very low, minus 26.6 dB, and out to the reverb at about minus 28. We're actually getting a little bit more verb than this than we do from the Noir Piano, which is only minus 38.5. What this is doing is gonna give it a little bit of presence. That's it. Let's have a quick listen to that.
So you can hear it's just lifting up the, the, the piano noir a little bit. It's just giving that bass pattern a little bit of movement. We did have to make a couple adjustments. We did some EQ work like we did with the others. And the other thing we did, you'll notice here, we just had to move the pan a little bit. The candle piano was panning too much to the right. So I just had to I just had to correct that within the workstation so it sat more naturally. <laughs> Next up, we had this kind of alternating pattern of notes, and I found this great sound within the augmented piano called the Popcorn Acoustic. Now, if this was just a production, I would, I would leave it like that. I love that. It's fantastic. But it doesn't really sound like a piano. So I needed to blend something in to help it. So I sent the same MIDI pattern out to this grand ribbon. Let's have a listen to that blended in. But you notice that it sounds a little bit dull. It's a little flat. So I also found this dream tack piano that helped give it some height, give it some presence. We had a little bit of EQing in there, and you'll notice that the Grand Ribbon is the only piano that is not being sent to the reverb at all. Most of the reverb is coming off the popcorn acoustic, which I really love. It's kind of the sound that I like. What it's doing is it's giving us a little bit of top sustain, and it's giving us a little bit of low in there, and then a little bit from the Dream Tack as well. <laughs> Next up, the simple chord pattern. And I found this Baroque harp, part of the augmented piano, sounds like this. One of the things that was great about this is it helped to contrast the chord pattern from the melody. If you listen to the Halion version, they really struggle to stand out. All of a sudden, I had something that was standing out but again, I needed to make it sound more piano-y. So I found Mellow TV Show Piano and blended that in as well. That definitely helped the piano sound, but it sounds a little bit blunt. So I found this Dream Pick Heart to help give it a little bit more presence. And you can hear that's giving it a really nice timbre, which is helping define it within the mix. And you'll notice again, the Baroque harp is doing most of the reverb. It's sending out most of the reverb. And then we've got a little bit either way from the Mellow TV and the Dream Pick harp. <laughs> So we started with this. And we ended up with this. I love how much depth this has brought to it. The bass line is nicely sat back. The chords and the alternating notes are kind of in there in the middle. And then we've got the melody on top. And they've all got their own kind of timbres and tones. What I love about this is we've achieved it very quickly and very easily. I've dialed in very few things. In fact, most of the time I've been taking things away. I've been taking reverb out and delays out and then doing a little bit of EQing and that's it. From here, we could go in and we could go really crazy. We could start adding saturation. We could start adding little delays. We could add modulation effects. And we could really, really flesh this out into something very special.
the use of the auxiliary verb is particularly good here within the workstation because it allows us to send everything out to a consistent reverb, giving us a sense of consistent space, but we can do it in a way where we can blend in different amounts of dry signal that we are sending to the auxiliary for each of the piano flavors. With just the augmented piano and one instrument from the Toy Suite, we've been able to create a surprising amount of contrast and layered effect. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe. I'll be back next Tuesday. Until then, good night and good noise. Stay safe and stay healthy.